Started fizzing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. I don't need any hero to save me. I don't know why the kids always crying. I've been thinking about how the captain's probably left in a wasted planet. I thought I had it all. Hi guys, it's Sally here from AP Tech, um, helping you grow further and faster in YouTube. In this channel, basically, um, what we do is um, tips gear review and also um, car um, modifications so today i have um, bmw one series which is also known as f20 and um, we'll see with the carly app today what we can modify in terms of uh, lights and see if we could have uh, auto wing mirror covers uh, sorry wing mirrors um, folding so what we're going to do is first with the carly app we have entered the adapter into the obd reader we're going to connect and see if you can read how many ECUs. So it's asking me, is your adapter already plugged in? Yes. And it's waiting to... So, right, it's managed to locate now the engine. Obviously it needs um, the engine to be on rather than the ignition. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the health. So let's check for issues, if this car has any issues. And we are going to clear any codes that we do find. Um, currently, obviously, it's loading to 75%. It's checking how many issues. It found 163 issues so far. So that, that alone, it's shocking. But again, um, this kind of message, it provides you so many of them. It checks every single ECU that's available in your car. It found basically over 163 issues. So what we're going to do is um, we can check, for example, one of them and see what these are. So the things that are red, most likely it won't go away uh, because they, these are permanent issues. And then things that are amber, these will po potentially go away. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear it, okay? So now it's telling me basically the Kali app um, is asking me to set a reminder in three days to check these messages again. So what we're going to do is, yes, we're going to opt that message and then it will check the message basically um, any issues. So now we've done that, we're going back and now we can actually play with uh, the fun things. Um, what we're going to do is um, we, can, we have some options in terms of start stop engine to basically turn it off um, fully, but we, we're not gonna do that. We're going to check um, things that are very useful to us in terms of uh, checking what's available. So let's see what we can customize. So basically um, now we have um, all of the options that are in here. We're going to start with the top in terms of the dashboard and see what options we have. Now with Kali, obviously, um, first what it's doing is that it's trying to read your car and it's also trying to back up your current coding. So it's very important that if you, for example, would like to go back to the original, um, it has that feature where it backs up all your coding that's currently set up by the BMW. Now in here, we've is digital speedometer we don't have a digital there are instrument cluster here is not a digital so we're going to see what else we have so now at the moment boot logo for the dashboard it just says BMW we've got the option here that says M performance what we're going to do is we're going to tick that so as soon as you turn on the engine you'll be welcomed a some sort of a message that says um, M performance same thing um, on the dashboard so that's actually sorry boot logo on the dashboard. So that's on the dashboard rather than the instrument here. Um, let's see what other options we have. Um, sports display uh, in terms of uh, torque, cruise control. Okay, so the options here are very, not much. So I don't wanna play about something that the owner doesn't feel using it. So for now, we've only set, you'd like the start stop off? Okay, so we're going to do that. Uh, so the start stop, we had it here. At the moment it's currently on. We're going to turn it off. So what we're going to do first, let's code the end performance, accept the terms and conditions. So what we're going to do is code the end performance message on the dashboard here. And then once we've done that, we'll go back and see what we can do with the start stop engine. You can see that now the instrument cluster 
is basically going bananas it's just resetting everything and then it will come back on and say okay so it's basically doing its job uh, it's coding everything Um, so what we're going to do is try the start stop again and see what is stopping this Okay, I think it allowed me start stop off. Oh, yeah, let's code that So basically it's talking to the car and it's doing all of the resets itself that it needs and that's about it So now the coding has completed and it's saying it's successful um, we basically are checking sports desk display for performance and we don't need any of that we can go back now and see what other codings that we have available so now I'm moving on to the second ECU now in this ECU basically it's reading all of the codes that's available and then we see what we can do in terms of uh, lighting and things like that Okay, so it's telling me start stop automatic is currently off. Yes, that's true because we turned it off ourselves. Um, so we're going to check what are the options that are available. Daytime running light at the moment is zero. Um, I'm checking angel eyes brightness. So um, the brightness of the car at the moment, the lights are showing medium. Do you want it high? Okay, so we're going to make it very high okay let's have a look at the welcome lights do you want it on okay so it's telling me this basically we can't do this coding without the others all right let's code the first the others and we'll come back to the welcome lights it's finished so we'll try the welcome light so at the moment the welcome lights is off see if you can turn it on I think it allowed us yep welcome lights when dark no do you want it no we want it on the daylight as well welcome lights brightness very high good welcome lights standing lights on the left Welcome light. Okay, so now we've done that coding, the welcome light. Um, we'll see basically if we can do other coding. Um, so we would like the mirrors to tilt when we are reversing automatically. So if we put that on, again, you have to be careful when you're coding certain things. Some of them, it, you need the hardware back up to that. So if the hardware is not available on your vehicle, the coding won't work for you. Okay, it works all right for my car when I'm reversing and uh, the, the mirrors basically it tilts automatically. So as soon as you put the reverse gear, but if the hardware is not available in your car, it's not going to work. So for those who are coding and you're watching, this car might work and you're thinking, oh, I need to buy this app. I need to buy the adapter. And then you code on your car and it doesn't work and you feel a bit daunted. Okay, so bear in mind, if your car is a standard car, you can't code certain things. So if it works, obviously, thumbs up. If it doesn't, don't feel very daunted about it. So we've got the mirror tilt. So if we see uh, comfort folding, okay. This is something very important to us. We would like the side wing mirrors to fold either by locking the, or by pressing the button. So let's code those. If it's available on this car, if it's built in, then obviously it would work. If not, then it won't work. But at the moment we're coding that. Right, so that was successful. Let's see what more fancy stuff we can do. ECU, so we've used the first top and now we're gonna go to the third ECU. So in here basically it's to do with your reverses. PDC in reverse. It gives you a notification of um, if there's any hazard behind you. Uh, currently it's off. Um, reverse camera turn off. Well, no, obviously we would like that. Okay, so in the iDrive logo at the moment, it says BMW connected drive version. So we'll see if we can 
tune this into M performance. So we're going to code that, accept the terms and conditions, common sense. As you can see from the iDrive here, it went all blank. So that's going to go off all blank and then it's starting M performance. So this is what I was actually expecting earlier. And now you can see the M performance is coming. So every time that this goes off and comes back on, you will see the M performance message that you'll be welcomed by. So now one thing that I find really useful, it's a reverse auto tilt. So we're going to try that. So I'm going to turn off the engine, give it 10 seconds, and then we're going to test that if that works. So I'm gonna, obviously I give up with all of the coding. That's all enough. So what we're going to do is turn it off completely, wait for 10 seconds. We're gonna turn back the engine on and then we'll put it on reverse and see if the wing mirrors are going to tilt. Okay. So now obviously, come on. All right, moment of truth, nothing is happening. So we're on neutral. So I'm going to put it on reverse. So that's on reverse and nothing is happening. So the wing mirror, it should be, no, no that's me pressing, yeah. And so the wing mirror is not tilting. It should be tilting automatically. Um, so obviously that's not working. Uh, in terms of uh, the auto fold, I'm assuming they might be working together in combination of that. So if the car hasn't have the hardware backup to it, then it won't work. So that unfortunately, the, the one that I was excited about, the auto tilt, it doesn't have. But obviously other things that we've coded in terms of the welcome light, we're going to test that at night, and um, that's about it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a lovely day. Peace out.